Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new series for Green Hell. Oh my goodness! Yeah, one of my one of my favorite survival games out there. Really, really awesome survival game. Uh, you might think, well, KJ, it's kind of weird. All of a sudden, you're doing more videos on Green Hell. Well, what's going on? Well, according to Google. <laughs> Green Hell's console release date has been confirmed for June 9th. Back in March, developer Creepy Jar confirmed that its survival title Green Hell will be released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now the studio has confirmed that Green Hell will be coming to the consoles on June 9th. So I'm like, how's yeah, man? Let's do some let's do some more videos for Green Hell. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Green Hell is, it's one of the more realistic survival games out there. Uh, as far as like, you know, food and stuff goes. Uh, it has protein, carbohydrates, fats, and water. Uh, you know, I'm starting to, like, think that all survival games need to have their their food stats, you know, uh, divided. Because it's just really, really cool uh, to have the, to have different food sets. I gotta find some more stone. Uh, yeah, so, like, freaking cool. Uh, I love it. So, it's what, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite survival games. It's not quite in my top five, but it's, it's right there, man. It, it, uh, is it better than Seven Days to Die? No. The Forest? No. Um... Uh, Valheim, you know, that's subjective. Uh, I would say I like Valheim more, but barely. Uh, they're, they're, they're in the same category, that's for sure. Is it better than Imperion? Not for me, personally. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, you know, it, it, I'll tell you right now, I had some trouble with building last season. If I could build the way I want to this season, like if those issues have been fixed, then this could crack my top five. It could. Uh, it's got some stiff competition, though. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, it's it's definitely up there. Definitely in my top 10. Easy. Easy in my top 10. Um, I really, really enjoy this game quite a bit. And what we're going to have to be worrying about first and foremost... You know what? I uh, should go ahead and put down... Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my coconuts. Alright, and I'm going to... Is it harvest? I don't remember how to do this. Harvest? Yes. And then we harvest again. All right, and then we take the um, the coconut flesh out of there. We're going to harvest that again, and we're going to do the same thing with the other one. And the reason you want to do this, this should be the first thing you do. Look for coconuts and harvest them, and then simply drop them on the ground to collect rainwater. It's going to be the way you're going to get water for a while. Um, what else? Yeah, let's do the other one too. So I basically started the game, and I came to this location. Uh, I found this location somewhere on the internet, on the interwebs. And um, I came here and checked it out. It does look like a pretty cool location. It's somewhere I've never built before, which is really what I wanted. I wanted to build somewhere new. Uh, so this thing gets fats, right? Yeah, 10 fats and 5 carbs. Okay. All right. Once you eat something, then you know what it does. Go ahead and drink and drink. And then we got to finish this bad boy up. Uh, this thing is going to give us a spot to save. So you're... Basically, what you want to do is, if you're new to the game, you might just want to build at the first decent location you find. Um, you kind of want a water source next to you. And other than that, you know, if you're new and you don't really want to play games, you could do that. Uh, there's certain areas that are better than others, and I'll go over those, um, you know, as I'm playing. Last season, I built at the drug facility, which, in my personal opinion, is by far the best place to build in the game. Because it's basically, it's got the biggest, flattest area to build a dope base. But it's not the only place to build. There's some other good places too. So um, we need some stone. Is that a stone? No. Um, early game things to look out for. You know, I'm assuming a lot of you guys are new because it's on console now. Uh, first of all, I hope it's a good port. I'm rooting for you guys. Um, you know, some of these survival games ports are good. Some not so much. And I'm hoping you guys get a good port of the game. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys like you're... Like you're new, because a lot of you probably are. Uh, you should leave the, the the stumps there, because trees will grow back. And I'm going to be looking for... Yep, yeah, right here. Cut down this tree. Yeah, so I basically just started the game, found this location. You know, picked up a couple things along the way. So, we, like, when I... My first few, ep, like, seasons of this game, I spent, like, the first video just dying over and over and over. Um, snakes are going to be your biggest threat in early game. So, yeah... Right there, take that. Stats are still looking good. Let's go ahead and save the game. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but I guess that'll be okay. You could wake up at any point, so. Alright, I'll wake up now. Uh, save the hold to sleep. Uh, if you, you got, yep, okay, so you gotta go, it depends on where you're pointing at the shelter. If you point up, there's the save the game. 
And by the way, this is my last season, 82 days. At some point, guys, I'm not sure when, maybe for episode 25 or something like that, I'll do a, a tour of my last base. Um, maybe I'll do it earlier than that, we'll see. All right, so we are welcome to the jung jungle, which is like, you know, the middle of the road balanced survival. And we're going to go ahead and save. All right, so I don't really want to sleep when I don't have to. So we're going to go ahead and do some more drinking. And we're going to look around. I need to find some stone. I need to start making some axes. Um, I read on the, on the um, I don't remember where I found it, but I found this location somewhere on the inter internet. And they said there's like not a lot of hostility in this area. It should be pretty good. We've got water down there. We've got, um, there's lots of trees. And we've got bamboo somewhere around here. Um, I'm just not sure where. Also, there's a lot of big stone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest the big stone. You just hold down right click and harvest. All right. This is going to be a little dark, so I'll uh, try not to make it too dark for you guys. Anyway, once you have the stone, uh, let's see if I can remember the recipe. I think, um, you know, I should probably look up the recipe. <laughs> I don't remember them. Bright and early in the morning. Let's take a look at our stats. Okay. We're going to go ahead and eat this stuff. This will go bad in one day. Let's go ahead and eat a couple of those, and we're looking pretty good. We're going to have to worry about carbohydrates and meat. Uh, meat's not going to be too much of a problem. I am going to have to make a trap, though, and I don't know if I have any traps that can catch the big the big game. Yeah, I don't. That's going to be a problem. I'm not sure what kind of cha what kind of stuff that trap's going to catch, but um, killing those things down there will give us a lot of meat, but without the right trap, we're going to need, like, a bow because you can throw spears at them, but it doesn't kill them, like, in one shot, and then they run off with your spear. Uh, by the way, I already made a spear. It was just one long stick. Oh, got some more of these. Should, probably should have thrown these on the ground already. Should have made a bedone. I forgot. I'll make one with the next one I get. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and made a spear. I made an axe. The axe, in case you were wondering, is one of these sticks. There's sticks and then there's small sticks. So a stick, a rope, and two regular stone. And you get rope from these big trees. They have these like things hanging off them. Right there. Liana, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, so we'll grab a bunch of that. Okay, great. Alright, so the next thing we're going to have to worry about is a campfire. Now, your campfire will get put out uh, when it's raining. And you start the game in the rainy season, so it's going to be raining. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one of these frames. Uh, okay, there we go. It's not a great spot for it, but it doesn't need to be in a great spot, to be honest. Um, so now we're going to need uh, big like logs. Uh, we're going to need long sticks, big logs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this tree down right here. I don't know exactly where I'm going to make my main base, but honestly, that really doesn't matter right now. It's all about survival. Uh, if you look in the bottom left-hand side, I have an hourglass. If I hold down C, although this is going to be different for you guys on console, but if I hold down C and go to the hourglass, you can find, like, uh, leeches on you, and you got to tear them off. They're going to mess with your sanity. If your sanity gets low, you know what? I don't want to spoil it for you. Do yourself a favor. Save your game. And let your sanity get super low and watch what happens. It's pretty fun. In a sick sort of way. Alright, so we're going to pick up some of these. And we're going to put those over here out of the way. And then we're going to pick up some of these regular sticks. Okay, we're going to need those for the fire. So, Alright, and now you need another thick tree. Again, don't cut out the stumps unless the tree is in your way. Because those stumps are going to be like... The stumps are honestly the best like wood in the game. It's fr they're freaking awesome. Because you can harvest them for better stuff. I'll show you, I'll show you how to do that later. Alright, so... There you go. And now we just need the long sticks up here. Uh, wow. Oh, look at this. Yeah, sometimes when you cut down trees, the, the rope crap falls on the ground. And we'll pick this up as well and pick up the small sticks. And I've got some more long sticks here. Beautiful. I usually like to make these frames out of bamboo. But I'm not seeing any bamboo, although I, I was told there's some in the area, so I just have to find it. Um, I Yeah, I usually like to make my stuff out of bamboo. I don't remember why. I just remember that's the way it was. Alright, we're going to need another long stick. So let's find a skinny tree. Uh, I think I saw one around here. Yep. Uh, see, I probably wouldn't want to cut this down normally. I'd want to let it grow a little bit, but I need the long sticks. Crap. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... Uh, by the way, every time you craft something, you get more crafting skills. So the durability of the item you're crafting is based on your crafting skill. So that will get better as time goes along. There we go. No fuss. 
No muss. All right. Come on, you. That's not what I wanted to pick up. I want that right there. Oh, I'll pick that up, too. Come on, darn it. Oh, I have it. Oh, you're killing me, game. There we go. All right, so you put that right there, and you just need rope to tie them on. And then we're going to have to put in a roof. All right, so... What kind of roof do I want to put on this thing? I'm going to put a bamboo roof on there, maybe? Or not a bamboo roof, but a... um. You can either you can make two kinds of roofs. You can make uh, palm roofs or banana roofs. I'm gonna make a banana roof. I feel like the banana roofs look better, but I think they also take more, like banana leaves, than the regular roofs. So, but I do have some banana leaves I've already cut down, so it's all good. Once I've made this roof too, I can save the game. This has been a pretty textbook start here. This is not a great thing here. It's not a, like you don't want to build on angles like that. But, you know, just for the purposes of getting a fire going without the rain putting it out, it'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to find another one, and there's one right here. There we go. Um, like I was saying earlier, I did. I, the only reason I'm not building at the drug facility this time is because I, I did it last time. And I try not to do the same thing twice in a row. The drug facility, in case you're wondering, write this down, is 51 West, 27 South. That's 51 West, 27 South. And in my personal opinion, it's the best spot to build in the game. Alright, so now we just need to put a fire down. Alright, there we go. So you're only going to have a certain... Wait, why can't I put that down? You don't actually need the sticks. Find available place. What are you talking about? Is it too... Oh, it's too much on an angle? Seriously? Oh, that's some horse S right there. Oh, that's... You gotta be kidding me. All right, that really blows. Uh, I, f I feel like I should be able to put that down there. I could put it down here, but then I won't be able to build anything over it. Son of a bee. All right, I gotta find another place for this. All right, let's go ahead and save the game. I like to save and save often. Save. Okay. So I got the thing built up over here, and it's nice because it just started raining. Okay, so we need to make a fire starting thingy. And I believe I'm gonna need some regular sticks for that. Oh, by the way, check it out. You can save the game up here, too. Uh, so, I think it's a big stick and a small stick is the hand drill. Alright. Uh, I don't think I'm going to start the fire just yet, because I don't really have anything to cook. Um, I'm also... I was dirty, but the... I was dirty earlier, but the rain washed me off, so... I'm going to go ahead and eat the coconut flesh. Alrighty. So, what I can do is I could boil water up here now. Which is pretty good. Um, but the first thing, but the first things first, I need to try and catch me some meat. And I think I'm going to need a bow for that. Do, do I have to find a bow or can I make one? You know, that's a good question. I don't remember. Let me take a look at my, my book here. Uh, tools, um, stone blade, weak spear, axes, torches. I'm not sure if I have to find what I need to make the bow or make my first one. Let me gather everything I need and see if I can make a bow. Actually, I think it's just a long stick and rope. So I'll try that first, and then if, if it's not that, I'll, I'll look it up. Craft. And... Oh, I don't need rope. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's get some rope. I also want to look around here, too. What I really want to do is I want to look around and look for a place to make my permanent base. But the thing is, until my stats are taken care of, that's a really stupid idea. Oh my god, I've got freaking guys on me already. Look at this. Did you see that? So there are... I don't know what you would call them. I keep wanting to call them cannibals, but... They're like, I don't know, they're enemies. Um, they're kind of like uh, natives or something. Um, and they will try and kill you. I did not expect to have problems with them this early. Nope, they're walking right towards me. Yep, 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 okay. Uh, I don't know if I should just fight them or... Oh yeah, he's coming after me. I hate the hell with it. Go, so you just kind of swing at him a bit. All right. I hear he's got some buddies. Yeah, this is going to go badly for me. That's why you save and save often, people. <laughs> save and save often. I got killed by cut. All right, load. Hopefully they won't come after me again. I think if you reload the game, they won't. But, I mean, I've been killed by them before in past games. And they don't usually come after me twice in a row. So, it'd be, sh it'd be a shame if I got killed in like a... Uh, I don't know, like a spawn camping situation there, or load camping. Uh, that would really suck. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, the bow. That's right. We need some rope. All right, let's try and do that. Hopefully, these guys will stay away. I mean, I'm not exactly where the where where the, they told me to camp. Here, let's take a look. I'm supposed to go to 4424, and I did. And yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be a, a, a not hostile area. So, but that I think that 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 post I read was like from like a, a year ago. So maybe it's changed. You know, things change with these games all the time. All right, let's. Oh. All right, forget it. I don't care that much. Let's get this one. By the way, this right here where, that, where I'm looking, this is where I wanted to build right here. Nice flat area. The problem is you can't get rid of those, um, you can't get rid of those flowers. So it kind of makes a sucky place to... No, no, no! <sighs> the game lagged and I ended up harvesting it. Okay. Well, guys, if you uh, have a long stick and you need regular sticks, you can... You know, harvest it to get the um to get the regular sticks. Okay, so hold down and craft. There we go. And what do I need? Rope. Oh, okay, great. I can make a bow. Beautiful. Arrows are gonna be a son of a bee, cause um you gotta find feathers. I mean, I could try and headshot that guy with the spear. It's only a it's only a stick. If he runs away with it, he runs away with it. I suck, dude. That wasn't even close. Alright, well, let's try again. Yeah, I think if you hit him in the head, they will die. But if you hit him in the body, they're going to go running off with your spear. I can make a bow trap, like you guys just saw, but... I I don't know. I've never messed with that before. Alright, hold on. Here we go. Come on, stop walking. <laughs> See, there he goes. And, like, I'm not sure. I guess my aim is just so bad that, like, I'm not even, like, close to him, really. So, I mean, what, can he bleed to death? Maybe he'll maybe he'll bleed out. I mean, it's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Oh, animal droppings. That's good. Once I start farming, you can use that as fertilizer. Where'd this guy go? Looks like a nice open area to build. Gotta be careful though. Sometimes these open areas have snakes by them. I don't know where this guy went. Alright, I'm not gonna be following him all over the freaking jungle. So I do have a trap. I I've never messed with that bow trap. Maybe I... I mean, I guess I could try. Let's see what it takes to make it. Wait, where is it? It should be in here, right? Oh, there it is. Bow trap. Well, it doesn't take arrows, so... I, I thought there was a thing with the bow trap where it was only against humans. But I could be wrong about that. Alright, this is cool. Dead bird. That's what I was looking. That's what I was looking for. Not only can I get protein from it, but I can get feathers, which will allow me to make arrows. Unfortunately, I don't remember <laughs> how to make the arrows. Um, but I think I have an idea. I'll see if I can figure it out. Also, these big trees are really good harvest spots. Because if you if you look in here, there'll be like these little Brazilian nuts. And those are a really good source of fat. At least I think I think they're on every one of these trees. I know they were on these trees when, when it was by my other base. But um, you got to kind of find them in here. They're in the little crevices. Um, all right, I'm not really finding any. Either they haven't dropped yet. or Or maybe they're not on every one of these. No, I don't see one. Weird. Alright, well, I'll check again. Later. Maybe I'll check this tree. Let's take a look at this one. Huh. I wonder if they nerfed them or if they take a while to drop and it hasn't been enough days. I don't know. They usually have these blue mushrooms, too. Which are, like, um, energy mushrooms. They give you a lot of energy. They're really, really good for energy. Alright, I went ahead and made a few arrows. Uh, it takes It takes two feathers and one stick. For an arrow. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... Wait. Oh, that's right. Wait. Really? I thought I made one already. I might have made one and then died. I made the hand drill and then died, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and use this. Alright. And then you have to put down dried tinder. 
which is uh, these dry leaves. You get them from uh, bashing up regular leaves. They'll eventually dry out. All right. Now, you need a good amount of, um, of like, stamina for this because it does take a little bit sometimes. And, you know, the better you get at it, the easier it'll go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to drink it, and I'm going to pick it up. No, actually, I didn't want to drink it. What the hell was I doing? I'm going to make soup. I'm going to make meat stew. So if you want to, like, bring a bowl somewhere with water in it, you have to bring up your, your screen here and then hold right mouse button to aim. And then you kind of have to pick it up. And don't put it down. Don't put it in your inventory. Just bring it over here. I mean, you could probably place it down, but um, don't put it in your inventory. If you do, it's going to empty it out. All right. So I'm going to drop it right there and aim towards the fire. Wait, where's the fire? <laughs> I thought I was in my thing. It was just regular trees. All right. So I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to put it on the fire in one of those white spots. And then I'm going to put the meat inside of it. The meat will be gone in 18 hours. Um, I don't think soup goes bad. So I could pretty much just have that, you know, that soup forever. So that's cool. And I think I'm just going to bring the rest of these up there. Because why not? There we go. And I got to find some, uh, I got to find some other coconuts. If I can get other coconuts, what I can do is I can turn them into bidones. And those hold 40 water. And then I can carry the water around with me. There we go. Put those right there. Meat can go, can burn, but I don't think soup can. Uh, so I guess we might as well eat this right now. All right, 13 protein. Not, not a lot, but uh, then you can, what you could do is you could take some of this water and then dump it on top of the fire to put it out. And I will keep all of those outside. All right, we're going to have to look for carbohydrates too. Let's do some exploring now. I don't know if three arrows is worth trying to kill one of those guys. Not the not the um not the hostiles, but the you know, these uh I forget what they're called. These animals down here. If I can kill one of them though, I'll get a lot of meat off them. A lot of stone in this area, that's really good. Oh! You got a um, bee's nest right there. You can use that to get honey to make uh, some of the best bandages in the game. Actually I think the honey bandage is the best one in the game. All right, so let's try and shoot these guys. Worst case scenario, we can uh, work on our archery. Oh, these are really big. It's good for fats. Uh, do I need them? Not at all. Oh, I got him in the head. Wow, that was such a lucky shot. Did you see how I was like jerking around and stuff? I am really lucky to get him. I'm also going to look for the other arrow, but I think it went in the water. Wow. That was unbelievable. So I do have to go to the drug facility. Probably the drug facility will be the next place I go. Once I get a bedon and I can travel, I'll go to the drug facility because there's going to be a, a killer trap at the drug facility. And I know for a fact... That will chew these guys apart. Like, I'll come down here. There'll be a dead one down here every two minutes. Like, no joke. Alright, how long until that meat goes bad? We gotta make sure it doesn't. Alright, so we got 19 hours. So I think we're gonna look for carbohydrates now. And I'm not seeing any banana... Uh, I'm not seeing any banana trees, which is kind of a problem. But... Uh, I assume there's some around here somewhere. Actually, I think those are banana trees. Let's try and cross this water. There's stuff in the water though that will will hurt you. So don't do it unless you have to. There we go. Bananas. Beautiful. Yeah, these things are awesome. It'd be the first thing I farm too. I wonder if I need any um oh I need to wash off before I eat. If you want to wash off, go to the water and wash yourself. I wonder if there's um I wonder if you can make the farm plots with I don't I think I can make the farm plots right away. Wash yourself. There we go. And then now that I'm clean, I'll have some bananas, please. And those will be good for like two days, so don't eat those unless you have to. I will I will turn that meat into soup when I get home. Right now I'm just kind of looking around. There's more bananas. Don't pick them until you have to, though. Because once you pick them, they start going bad. Take that. Honestly, I'm not really seeing any giant flat areas for me to build. 
which is a bit of a shame. We should probably head home now. You gotta be careful traveling at night because there are jaguars. I think they're called jaguars in this game. I always get my big cats mixed up. Um, I'm pretty sure they're called jaguars though. Uh, yeah. So and they, they they tend to hunt at night. All right, I'm gonna go grab that that coconut. So coconuts, you can't you can pick them up, but you can only hold them in your hand. So what you want to do with the coconuts is break them down, and then you can pick them up properly. And that'll definitely be the last thing I'm going to do. Let's get back to base. I really want to explore this area and find where I'm going to make my main base. But, uh, you know, I, I really need to get my the basic setup. Food, drink, you know, stuff like that. Um, also, there was a Mullinaria plant around here somewhere. And if you see those, you want to grab the Mullinaria plant. It's how you make your bandages. But I don't remember where I've seen it. I'm gonna have to take out that bee's nest, man. Like, I'm always running by it. The the developers place stuff in very, very good spots, you know, to get you. All right, so let's save the game, and then we're gonna go ahead and make some meat soup. Let me pick up that rope, and let me take care of this. All right, we still got a good amount of uh, dry leaves in here, which is good. Running out of dry leaves sucks. By the way, I, I have some, uh, I have some leeches on me. Yep, I didn't make it. I didn't have enough uh, stamina. That's fine. There we go. I should have enough to do it now. All right, get out of that. Go up here. Oh, bones are really good too. I forgot about bones. Hell yeah, bones are good for fat. You can make um, bone infusion. Although. To be fair, there's usually enough fat out in the world where it's not going to be a problem. Right now, my problem, as far as food goes, is going to be protein. That's it. All right, let's do that. Ah, oh, crap. Why is... Why are these flipped over? Come on, man. There you go. Is that one good? Uh, yes. All right, so this one has 10 out of 10. Also, if you drink soup in the right way, you can you can double your soup output. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure you're completely full on thirst. All right, let's say you have like meat soup, right, and you're full on thirst. You could drink out of the meat soup twice. Although I don't think it works with coconut bowls, but we're gonna get other kind of bowls, you know, in the future, and it does work with those. We also want to get a drying rack as soon as possible. All right, craft with the coconut and a rope, and we now have a bidone. And that will hold 40 units of water. So what we do is we just continuously pull water out of these. Yeah, that's great. That's great. All right, so we need that. Look at that, 72. What I tell you, man? 72 freaking protein. It's nuts. That right there, and I'll probably cook this one. And eh, we've only got 17 hours, so I should probably. Well, I'm not gonna sleep for 17 hours. What time is it? Mm, it is 18:45. Mm. Yeah, I'll sleep. I'm not gonna sleep for 17 hours, so it doesn't matter. All right, so we'll go ahead and get some sleep now. You can actually stay up through the night in this game. Uh, the thing is, if you stay up a f if you stay up a few nights in a row, you'll get insomnia, and I forget what happens, but it's really bad. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So that fire is burning down. I should have put it out before I came up here, but that's okay. Uh, I could just put some more some more sticks on it. One thing we do have a lot of in this area is is um trees, which is really nice. All right, do that, and then we will pull this off, and we will put this on. Now, meat meat will burn, and soup will not. So, I mean, we're looking good now. We've got 72 protein here, 72 protein here. This will be at least 72 protein. Um, we've got bananas, banana trees. We've got unknown nuts. We're in good shape right now. We're in good shape right now. And um, the only thing I don't like about this spot is I don't like the fact that I've already seen natives getting up on my business but that's okay also i don't know where i'm gonna build i have not seen a lot of flat land in this area which is also going to be a problem 
But I think what I want to do is I think I want to get all my stuff together maybe and go out on a trip to get the killer trap at the drug facility and then come back. Once I get the killer trap, maybe even I might even try and get the smoker or is it a drying rack. I don't remember if it's a drying rack or a smoker, but there's something that I could put meat on that will like let it. I think it's I think there's one of each actually, but I like the drying rack. So I will probably get a drying rack of Padon, get my food, protein, carbohydrates, everything really solidified then i will look around the area for a place to build oh boy this meat's taking longer than i thought <laughs> save the game yeah i remember now the meat does take a long time i could go to sleep but the problem is then the meat will burn i don't know where there's gonna be a good place to build this is very this is this is a nice territory but i'm not seeing that flat land i like it was, I was going to go, it was either between this place or the Anaconda camp. And I've built at the Anaconda camp before as well. So have a lot of other people. Another thing I want to do is start messing around with mud. Because once I start messing around with mud, I can, um, I can make a water thing. I don't remember. It's a mud water thing. And it's unbelievably powerful. I mean, really, really good mud water thing. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to put this out now. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Bye.